this will be contested in the men's flyweight, 52 kilogram, Ilya Sulemanov and Yang Cheng. Long Yang Cheng comes from a victory yesterday, a full decision of 20 to 11 over Madhavi Nazibev. Excuse me, correction. Ilya Sulemanov comes to us with a victory over Ray Salyudar yesterday with a 30 to seven victory. He's in the red corner. Yang Cheng, on the other hand, got through Muhammad Alwadi from Jordan with a 1916 victory. So both of these boxers came through with an impressive win to get to the finals as they are here right now. Yang Cheng, only 24 years old, from BG City, Huizhou Province, China. 24 years old, as we say, he's got an amateur record of 32 and 15, started boxing at 18. And as we see, Ilyas Sulemanov, now we're back to Chang, but a moment ago you saw Ilyas Sulemanov from Kazakhstan getting his headgear fitted by his corner. As we've spoke of throughout this tournament, the Kazakhstanis have a wonderful tradition. Labby, Bram, Zubit, Gallagher, and Aradovsky are the judges for this contest. Canada, Tunisia are some of the countries that have come here to help out with this wonderful tournament, the Korean Boxing Federation. There's Sia Gwang Kim, the referee from Korea. And again, the Korean Boxing Federation and Aiba always doing a wonderful job putting on a show and action begins here in the second bout of the evening. Again, we've got Sulemanov in the red corner and Chang in the blue corner. And Sulemanov continues to press the action. Center of the ring throws a nice left-right combination, doubles that up, and there's a quick short jab by Chang. And now a fast Sulemanov throws a right hand to the body, and Chang fakes, faints the right hand, but doesn't actually throw it. There's a left, right, and a right hand to the head, and then a couple, a double, and a triple right hand, all by Sulemanov as he's got the Chinese boxer up against the ropes. The referee is going to caution him, and boxing will resume here in the center. A nice big right hand by the Chinese boxer scores. Two minutes, 20 seconds left to go in this first round. Sulemanov, quite the stylist in there. He throws a long right hand, full short, and the Chinese boxer is willing to trade and slug with the Kazakhstan. Two wonderful boxers here. They've come long and far, and who will come home with the gold? Will it be Kazakhstan or China here in this men's flyweight bout? 52 kilograms. Both boxers weighed in this morning. There's a short left hand by Chang, and Sulemanov continues to come forward. A right hand by Sulemanov, a right hand by Chang. These boxers are very evenly matched here through this first round. Short right hand by Chang of the left ear of Sulemanov. And then Sulemanov pushes out a left hand jab. He's pumping it out there. There's a right and a left, and most of those punches did get blocked by Chang. There's a left hand by Chang, which sort of got through the guard there of Sulemanov, and Sulemanov starts to retreat a little bit as Chang throws a lead right hand. And there's a nice stiff left jab by Chang, scores right through the guard of Sulemanov, and Sulemanov comes back with a chopping right hand and a left hand of Chang, and there he is again, a left and a right, and Sulemanov is really letting his hands go right now. Another left and a right, and Chang has got his hands up, showing good defense, and now Sulemanov has Chang up against the ropes, and Sulemanov throws a left and a right and a left, and Chang comes back with a right of his own, so this boxing is really starting to heat up here with less than a minute to go in round number one, a left-right combination by the Chinese boxer, Chang. And they tie up here, and both of them are locked points here in the center of the ring, the referee keeping a close eye on the action. He cautions both boxers to listen to his instructions to break when he says break, and right uh, off the break, Chang throws a right hand and a left-right combination by Sulemanov as he puts his right hand up in the air. And a nice right-left combination by Chang, followed up with a left-right counter of his own by Sulemanov. So Sulemanov and Chang are really letting their gloves go here in the middle and towards actually the end of the first round. Right hand by Chang. 
The right left by Cheng, both over the mark. They sail over the head of Sulemanov. There's five seconds left in this first round. Sulemanov jumps to the left and a right hand scores. He puts his right hand up in the air and down goes Cheng at the end of the round one, but it was a slip as ruled by the referee and both boxers go to their corners. And look at that score, six to six after round number one. So these boxers really are evenly matched and we have nothing but exciting rounds coming up. Take a look at some of the action from round number one. That left-right combination by Sulemanov, partially blocked by Chang. And here comes Chang with a big right hand that grazes off the face of Sulemanov and a right hand, there it is again, from a different angle. Left hand by Sulemanov scores on the face of Chang and there's that counter-punching right hand by Chang which comes back. Chang says his greatest asset in the ring is his toughness and you see it right there. His favorite boxer, Manny Pacquiao. He looks like a little Manny Pacquiao in there just the same as his hands have been throwing from all angles since the beginning of round number one. Round two, round two underway folks and Sulemanov comes out first and here comes Chang with a left hand and Another left hand, and Sulemanov doing a good job covering up, protecting his face from most of those strong, stiff jabs by Chang. A right hand by Sulemanov comes over the glove of Chang and is partially blocked in a left-right combination by Sulemanov. A right hand to the body by Chang on the break, and here comes Sulemanov, pressing the action. Boxers are locking up here, and their arms are getting caught up in one another and getting a little, little tired, perhaps, here. The, both well served to keep their hands up and go back to working off the jab. There's a right-left combination by Sulemanov. And there's a left-right combination and a left hand by Sulemanov. Pushes the head back of Chang and Chang not to be stopped. Continues to march forward. Now it gets a little sloppy. The right hand by Chang lands to the left rib cage of Sulemanov. Right-left combination by Chang falls short. Now Sulemanov starts to get some energy in his feet. Pushes out a left jab followed by a counter-left jab by Chang. Both boxers fall short on their marks. A left pushed out by Sulemanov with nothing and there's a aggressive Chang coming forward with a left right and both of those punches look like they may have scored a right hand by Chang and a double right so Chang really letting his hands go here in round number two we're almost at the halfway point a right hand to the body followed by a right to the body by Chang so both of these boxers are willing to trade counter punching each other each time they get one they give one back and a right hand by Sulemanov a left hook falls short by Sulemanov. And now they separate for a brief moment and come back in to try and better their opponent. Sulemanov throwing a left hand corkscrew jab. It falls short and there's a nice jab by Sulemanov again. Left right combination followed by counter punching Chang. His right hand comes and lands on the ear of Sulemanov. Another right hand by Chang falls short. Sulemanov sticks at his own jab as we come to the minute mark in round number two. Left hand by Sulemanov. Just pulling it out there without much traction. And both boxers look a little tired here as round number two comes to a close. There's 50 seconds left and there's less punching and more clinching going on here as the referee is gonna caution Sulemanov to keep his hands up. And now they meet in the center of the ring. A right hand by Sulemanov. Looks like it made contact and a left-right combination by Sulemanov. And a nice bobbing and weaving Chang doing a good job of ducking many of those punches. And there's a slip as Chang goes to the apron and the referee cautions him or wants him to dry off his hands as he does and his gloves rather. And now comes uh, Sulemanov with a right-left combination. So again, the action. The result, perhaps, of a lot of punches here in round number one in the beginning of round two. Both boxers may have tired themselves out a little, a little bit. However, these are the finals of the Asian Confederation Championships. These boxers need to be in the best shape of their lives. They're 20, in their mid-20s. They're hungry. They have no excuses. They need to throw punches straight through. And it gets a little wrestling uh, oriented here as round number two is coming to a close. Referee is going to again caution the boxers, and there's a nice left hand counter punch by Chang, lands on the head of Sulemanov. Left hand by Chang, blocked by Sulemanov, and that's it, folks. Round number two comes to a close, so this will be interesting. They both came into this round tied 6 6. What will happen in round two? It is a 5 4 round for Ilya Sulemanov from Kazakhstan. He takes a one point lead going into the third round. This is going to be close, a barn burner, folks. As the chief second of 
Yang Cheng, his name is Yang He Lu. He towel dries his young boxer's arms and gives him some finishing advice here as we look back at some of the action from round number two and you see a charging chain coming forward with lefts and rights. A real bull rush it is and he connects with many of those punches. However, Sulemanov is also definitely capable of dodging some of those punches as you see right there. So there he is again, Yang Cheng. He says his inspiration is honor and he wants to stand on the gold winner's circle, the platform with his hand raised. Well, he's gonna have an opportunity to but he's gonna have to come back from a one point deficit here in round number three. There's a left hand by Sulemanov and a left hand by Chang. Left, right, left combination by Sulemanov. Chang throwing a right hand to the body and a nice right hand to the head and Sulemanov comes back with his own left to the body. Sulemanov has got a lot of experience. You can see the way he carries himself in the ring. He's a stylist for sure, relying more on brains than brawn. He's smooth and he's silky. Will he be able to hold on to his one point advantage with the charging Chang, not looking to give any inch? And now down goes Sulemanov at the ropes. The referee is gonna call it a slip and he's gonna caution Chang to keep his head up. Left hand by Sulemanov, followed by a right of Chang. A feint by Chang with the right, he fails to get it off, but it's some good footwork there by Chang. Keeping the action in the center of the ring, circling, making Sulemanov come to him. He's down by one, but he's forcing the action by having Sulemanov come forward. Perhaps he wants to counter punch. However, he not, uh, needs to know that he's down a point. He needs to get a clear cut advantage. Perhaps counter punching may have been good in the second round. Young Chang is going to need to move forward and score points here. He doesn't want to leave it in the judge's hands, but he may have to. And Sulemanov doing a good job bobbing and weaving. There he is again, staying out of harm's way, ducking many of those Chang punches. There's his left hand by Chang, blocked. And now Sulemanov looking for an opportunity to build on the lead he had going into this third round. Their feet tie up a little bit, and here comes Sulemanov. While their right hands are tied up, their left hands are free, and the referee tells them to break in. They do. Left and right by Sulemanov, sail over the head of the Chinese boxer. Right hand by Chang. There's a minute left in this third round. A long right hand by Sulemanov, and there's a left by Sulemanov. Both of those missed their mark. Left hand by Chang, and there's another one. Chang trying to build up points with that jab, but he's going to need to follow it up. He's got to throw punches and bunches. He's going to need to score more points here in the final 40 seconds if he wants to keep this competitive. As Sulemanov presses the action here, he looks like the hungrier boxer here in this third round. Ilya Sulemanov from Kazakhstan. And the referee is going to issue another caution to Sulemanov as he will adjust his head his head here in particular the chin strap. A long right hand by Sulemanov. And now he's got the Chinese boxer up against the ropes and the Chinese boxer comes off the ropes and throws a right hand at the same time for good measure. A long right by Sulemanov and now a right hand by Chang. And Sulemanov's gonna hit the canvas again and once again the referee is going to issue or rather adjust the chin strap. That's referee Si Wong Kim. Quick right hand by Chang. It may just be too little, too late as round three comes to a close. We will await the official decision in just a moment. This is the men's flyweight finals of the 2011 Asian Confederation Championships, 52 kilograms. As you see, Yang Chang put his right hand in the air. That may just be more confidence than anything else. Perhaps that's all he can do right now is be confident that the judges saw it his way. Julius Sulemanov with some redness over his left eye, perhaps the result of those vicious right hands by Chang in rounds one and two. Look at the looks of exasperation on these young boxers' faces. They've worked hard to get here. They feel they've earned it. But only one can claim the gold. Who will it be? And Ansi Ilya Sulemanov can't stand still for a moment. 
He wants to hear his name mentioned in the gold platform. He wants to hear that Kazakhstani national anthem play and his flag raised to the rafters. And the winner is Yang Chang, comes back with a 16-15 victory, is able to pull it out here.